Let's look at question nine. In the context of training machine learning models, what does the term epoch refer to and how does it impact the training process? And then we have four options. Option A, an epoch is a single pass through the entire training data set, after which the model's parameters are updated to minimize the loss function. More epochs can lead to better learning, but may also risk overfitting. Option B, an epoch refers to a batch of data used during the training process, with the model's parameters being updated after each epoch is processed. Option C, an epoch is a measure of the model's accuracy, where a higher number of epochs indicates a more accurate model. Option D, an epoch is a parameter that controls the learning rate, determining how quickly or slowly the model converges to an optimal solution. To solve this question, the first step is to understand the purpose of each option and then eliminate one that clearly doesn't fit. Understand the role of epoch. Recognize that an epoch represents a full pass through the training dataset, not just a batch or a measure of accuracy. Discard options that confuse epochs with batches, accuracy, or learning rate control, as these represent different aspects of the training process. Now match the term with its function. Consider the role of epochs in training. They determine how many times the model sees and learns from the entire dataset. Let's take a look at each option one by one. Option A, an epoch is a single pass through the entire training dataset. This is correct in machine learning. An epoch refers to one complete pass through the entire training dataset. During each epoch, the model processes all the training data and its parameters such as weights in a neural network are updated to minimize the loss function. The number of epochs determines how many times the learning algorithm will work through the entire dataset. While more epochs can improve the model's performance by allowing it to learn more, too many epochs can lead to overfitting, where the model becomes too closely aligned to the training data and performs poorly on new data. Option B, an epoch refers to a batch of data. This is incorrect because a batch is a subset of the training dataset, not the entire dataset. An epoch involves the full dataset, while batches are used within an epoch to update model parameters incrementally. Option C, an epoch is a measure of the model's accuracy. This is incorrect because an epoch is not a measure of accuracy. Instead, it is a unit of training that represents one full cycle through the dataset. Accuracy is a separate metric used to evaluate the model's performance. Option D, an epoch is a parameter that controls the learning rate. This is incorrect because the learning rate is a separate hyperparameter that controls how much the model's parameters are adjusted during training. An epoch is not related to the learning rate, but rather to the number of times the model sees the entire training data. This reasoning leads to option A. An epoch is a single pass through the entire training dataset, after which the model's parameters are updated to minimize the loss function. More epochs can lead to better learning, but may also risk overfitting as the correct answer.